All right, here we are. Uh, I wanted to do a quick Bell Bullet review while I have you guys here, and it was raining earlier today, so you can kind of tell I got a lot of uh, nasty stuff on here. Um, at the same time, I wanted to take it apart, which I already started, so I figured I might as well just get it on camera um, and show you the inside. Uh, it's a little dark and hard to see. But I started pulling it apart, they just have these little buttons, and I don't want to get all into that because, to be honest, go to RevZilla.com, look at their product review on this helmet, it does a better job of explaining all this inner workings and, and all those things and stuff and all that. So I just wanted to kind of talk about it while I was here. Um, this is the first time I'm actually washing it um, since I got it, which is really nasty because I rode thousands of miles with this helmet in the, in the summertime, wintertime all the time, every all that, things and all that, whatever. Anyways, uh, it's starting to show a little discoloration, which is uh, pretty typical, but you can tell this was a, a painted and uh, dyed leather. Um, it's So far it's holding up pretty good, still has a lot of cushion, it started falling in and started uh, uh, settling itself a little bit, not too bad. Um, right here on the brow, I don't know if you can see it, can you Try to look at the GoPro app at the same time. Anyway, it's starting to, to stain from sweat, and that's pretty disgusting. Like I said, uh, I'm using my GoPro app. Here we go. Um, to look at what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, a little bit of discoloration. Um, I'm noticing on this little neck thingy, whatever you want to call it, it's starting to hang down a little bit. Oh, there you are. There we go. I'm all looking at it. You guys can't see it. Starting to hang down a little bit while I'm riding. No big deal, whatever. But obviously, didn't do that at the very beginning. Um, I'm going to keep taking it apart. I'm probably going to fast forward a lot of this stuff because there's no real use of you guys seeing me do this. But oh, look at that. Nice and easy. Never mind. I guess I'm not going to fast forward it. Uh, has the netting. Um, doesn't look like it's really attached at all unless it's split. Did it, did it rip? I don't think it ripped because it. Whatever. Anyway, he's got some foam padding, very, very light, not a lot of foam padding, um, none really on the front, I mean there is, but it's definitely not the same as what's up on top. Uh, the clips like you see normally in the, the thing. Um, I got a small, I have a small head, and what I've noticed with the Bell Bullets, and he even mentions it in the uh, RevZilla uh, review, um, or at least I hope he does, because, eh, whatever. Anyways. Uh, it's very um, circular. It's, I mean, obviously all helmets are circular, but it's not meant for a uh, a narrow head. And there's a there's a diagram that I that I mentioned on my first impressions um, where I kind of talked about that. But it does put a lot of pressure on my forehead when I when I take it off for the next hour. I have this nice ring. I'm all pointing at my head. I have this nice ring. There we are. Nice ring across my forehead. Um, some some neck padding. Still works pretty good. Um, I like uh, the nice D-ring um, clasps and everything. I, I prefer that over any uh, quick disconnects, um, just because I don't want them quickly disconnecting while I'm riding. That's pretty much it on the inside. Uh, just the two uh, ear pads and the overall head, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have many uh, shields. And I'm gonna do a little quick edit, and I'll be right back. Ta-da! Here we are. Um, I have a few shields. I have four shields total for the Bell Bullet. I have the Silver Iridium Flat Faced uh, one. I have the Bubble Shield Clear, which was the very, the one that came with this specific helmet. And when I bought this helmet, I decided to buy the Bubble Shield Smoke, so I can have that during you know the daytime, have that during nighttime. And then when I bought the Silver Iridium. I decided to have the flat um, clear. There we go. So anyways, they've held up great. Uh, I did notice with uh, the uh, bubble shield, like with all bubble shields, when you turn your head, it kind of puts a little more drag on it. And then I noticed when as soon as I bought this one that there is a huge difference, and there's not even a drag when you're when you're riding normal. There is a drag with these uh, the the bubbles, and they do make a little noise when they bounce around. Um, it's easy to disconnect and change these out. All you really need is a quarter. So it's just nice, easy with a quarter, flathead screwdriver, whatever you want, a nickel. Uh, it's easier, obviously, with a quarter. You have more thumb 
Oh, there we go. Off. You can take it off. Easy. Put it right back on. Put everything back on. Done. Um, the only vents that there are have that they, that this thing does have is these four vents up front, and I think those are the ones that actually do the most. And like I said, I didn't want to talk too much about it because he does a better job on RevZilla. There's the uh, barely see those little lines. Anyways, that's where the airflow goes over the top of your head and keeps you nice and cool. There is a vent in the front, which I have my GoPro sticky mount kind of covering, and you're able to adjust it on the inside just a little bit. I don't think that really does much because there is no uh, chin, what do you want to call it, chin net. Um, so there's, it doesn't really matter because you're going to get airflow in here from the bottom. And that's it. Uh, there's some uh, exhaust flow right up here at the top, which uh, coincides, you know, with the front. So that's where you get most of the airflow. It does keep me kind of cool um, during the summertime. Not a lot because I'm used to my three-quarter helmet, Bell 500. Uh, in the wintertime, it does keep me nice and warm. I do wear a balaclava um, when I, in the wintertime when I do ride just because it gives me that little extra. That's pretty much it. Um, I like this helmet. I love it. I wear it all the time. I went from a three-quarter helmet to a full face, and I wanted something that looked great. Um, I do have some cheaper helmets that are full face. Uh, I have a Fly uh, Trekker helmet, and it does fit more comfortably, and it's a lot cheaper than this helmet, but it does not look that good. This gives me a lot of looks on the way out. My buddy has a bunch of uh, Bell Bullets. He looks amazing in, amazing in them. Um, I highly recommend buying one of these helmets if you have that cafe racer tracker, if you want that cafe racer tracker look. Um, it does match your bike. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this if you have just a regular sport bike, even though it looks really cool. I love the, the massive shield on it. There are some better and more comfortable helmets out there for the same price and, and even cheaper. Um, so you really what you're doing is you're buying your aesthetics here. Uh, I can't really give it a rating out of 10 because I have only four helmets. Three of them I actually use. Um, this is mainly for looks. I love it, but I highly recommend it if that is if this is the look you want to go to. Highly recommend that. Anyways, that's my review. I'm gonna.